Let's take just a couple of minutes and talk about the two different thread types that you're going to encounter as you deal with the irrigation systems. Sometimes you're going to need to deal with plumbing fixtures that are on a house and possibly even supply some irrigation, maybe just a small drip zone for your garden or some other specialty situation. You may have to just connect to an outsized hose bib or faucet for your supply connection. But I want to warn you that there's two different kinds of threads that we're dealing with. For the first type that we're going to talk about here is called NPT, National Pipe Tapered Thread. Just abbreviated to NPT, some people just say National Pipe Threads or Tapered Threads. But whatever it's called, basically you're going to find this on PVC, copper, galvanized steel, stainless steel, and iron. And basically it is a tapered thread. You probably can't see from the video or even when you really look at it, but these threads have a taper to them, meaning that the closer that you get to the fitting, the larger the threads are going to be. And then the closer you get to the opening, the smaller the circumference is going to be so that when you screw this into a fitting, it generally doesn't go all the way to the end. It's going to stop somewhere in here as it seats firmly up against the inside, the female of that taper. Now, when you see these in the supply house, they're going to have the designation of, in this case, on a male, it's going to be called MIP or MPT, male pipe thread. Or the female version of it is going to be called FIP or FPT, female pipe thread. So uh, anytime that you deal with this, just be aware that that taper is there. So if you're dealing with plastic threads, don't crank this thing down like King Kong and you're going to just make sure that it's as sealed as it possibly can get. It takes just a little bit of experience to get that feel for how much you want to tighten this up. Because if you're putting together a complicated scenario and you don't have a union or a, um, a slip fix or something on this side that can rotate, once you tighten this thing up and glue the next pipe in, well, that's as good as it's going to get. So you really need to make sure that you kind of get your technique down as to how much to tighten these up. So let's talk about the other kind. And it's called hose threads. And this is the type of thread that you're going to encounter with garden hoses on the side of your house on a hose bib or an, you know, an external faucet that's going to have hose threads on it. You also have these hose thread timers that you can use to set up a small irrigation system, you know, from a hose bib. And those are going to have hose threads. They're not tapered. So basically it seals itself up with a rubber gasket inside the fitting. So you can tighten these up as tight as you want, and as long as you're seating the end of your fitting against that rubber gasket that's inside of there firmly, you're going to have a good, clean fit that doesn't leak. There are all kinds of adapters out there for you to go male to male, uh, male to female, to switch from hose threads to pipe threads, Watts is one of the manufacturers that make a lot of little brass fittings that can adapt over any way that you need to any size because there's a lot of people out there that do run irrigation just off of a, a hose bib or an external faucet on the side of their house. 